hello brother Monroe here welcome back to ultimate apple dreadnoughts and today a user scenario sent in by sen slash subaru uh, through the google form on the discord if you're wondering how to send in scenarios that's how you do it um i have altered it slightly i've moved the tech back 10 years uh, to better fit the range um and also so that the ai does actually spawn kind of the ships that the scenario mentions um so i'm to build the battleship not to build the heavy cruiser um and we're going up against an enemy battleship and a battle cruiser so let's jump into the design uh snapping turtleneck uh okay if, if you put a scenario in in the summer and i haven't done it yet then yeah just send it in again <laughs> um was that through the google form so sometimes Google Forms eats responses. Um, oh no, I can't do 1926. I'm going to have to go a little bit later. Maybe 1928, because there is a request to use the uh, this whole modern battleship too. Is it available in 1927? Yes, it is. I was a year out. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Uh, yes, so if, if you've been waiting, I'd, I'd say more than about three months <laughs> and you sent a scenario in and it hasn't appeared <laughs> then just send it in again um because my kids sometimes take the bit of paper i print them out on and uh, as well <laughs> and uh, funnily enough the game's already chosen the name of the ship that it was supposed to be now i do have a displacement limit which is always interesting of forty-seven thousand tons which is quite small um but uh, otherwise, I'm going to take uh, the rest of the restrictions fairly uh, fairly liberally. Now, let's see. In terms of towers, I'll just go with the cheap one. Uh, there is a bit of a jump from the compact to the light. So I'd quite like to use the light. Secondary tower, if I can. Do something like that. Any super hoods tonight? Uh, I don't. I don't know. We'll we'll have to find out. Uh, now, gun wise, I would go well. Conveniently enough, fifteens because they are the highest mark gun because. 18, 17, 16 is uh, lower than Mark III, but uh, the scenario asked me to go with 15s anyway, so that is what we'll do. We'll go for two quad 15 inch up the front, and then we we'll go for the 5 inch. I think the 5 inch looks really nice. French 5 inch guns. Mind you, it's a battle cruiser, isn't it? So the uh, secondary armaments mostly going to be there for uh, effect, i.e. <laughs> it's not going to do much, but uh, it, it, ships look really weird to me if they don't have any secondary weapons, so um, but sometimes they can be useful. Right, uh, funnels. Uh, we have 75 smoke to play with. Which is a really annoying amount. I'm gonna go double funnel if I, if I, if the game lets me. It doesn't. Okay, I'll just go for the one then. And secondary guns. Get any of those quad fours in? Uh, quad two inch guns in. <laughs> and if uh, you're here at the start of the stream you might have heard me saying oh yeah I was waiting on some shopping so um, that is apparently arriving so I might just uh, stop the recording if it gets uh, noisy but I might have to go with triples that's Millie complaining about said shopping it's alright Millie shush 
Ooh, we've got some treats, Melly. Sounds good. There we go. I know the two inches. <coughs> Milly, no. <coughs> no. Yeah, I'm going to stop the recording here. I'll be back in a sec. Right, sorry about that. Uh, let's get back to the building. So we'll go with double geared steam turbines. Uh, not, don't think I'm going to get to be going very fast on natural boilers. No, but induced is probably fine. <coughs> Millie, don't you start again. That's enough. I've run out of peanut butter. You're not getting any more. 35 knots if I want it. That's, uh, that's a pretty speedy ship. <laughs> Hello there, uh, philosopher. Yeah, I'm um, not too bad. Uh, stream got stream has been a bit late and a bit interrupted, but uh, sure we'll manage. Um, flash fire chance is five percent. I'm locked into cordite three because of the year, which is. Uh, not the best. So I'll stick with standard ammo because I'm not insane. I'm probably going to need the maximum barbette. But the heavy barbette gives me the same flash fire chance. So we'll go with that. I'd like enter torpedo. I know I'm going overweight, by the way. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow the ship down a bit. Apologies if you can hear rustling and whatnot in the background, but there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, do, 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 do. Attack baguette. <laughs> yeah, so uh, standard bulk is fine. We'll go for medium range. And there we go. We're actually underway. Just. All right. I can live with that. Uh, means we can up armor a little bit, if we wish. Um, although not a lot. Mid belt to 14, perhaps. Nah. That's pretty much it. A little bit more on the tailor. So we're going in with pretty standard armor. For the ship. No, yeah, yeah, no, it's not 1940. This is 1927. So, I mean... <laughs> 35 knots. Bat I mean, it is a battleship. Still has battleship grade armor and things. Uh, and we'll go for go for a regular 50 crew. There we go. Uh, I'm not allowed to design the heavy cruiser, so let's just dump into the battle. What race is she in? She's in a race to get very, very close. I'm um, doing stuff for the camera in itself. Yeah, you can't you can't choose uh, anything other than Cordite Three. That's the only propellant available uh, in nineteen twenty seven. Yes, it's a battleship that can do thirty five knots in nineteen twenty seven. Although it wouldn't be launched in nineteen twenty seven, I'll uh, I'll make a point to check the um, construction time, but uh, it'll be it'll be on the order of years. So it wouldn't actually be ready to. Uh, you know, go into battle until early nine, early mid nineteen thirties, right? Um, yeah, battleship and a mis mystery heavy cruiser against, well, what the Germans brought that looks like dreadnought four of some sort. I mean, it's definitely a speed over firepower build this, but I mean, eight 15 inch guns, nothing to sniff at. Let's have a quick look at the heavy cruiser. I want you to scream for me, please. Screen. Fuck's sake. 
Okay, thank you. Nine inch guns. Slower <laughs> by a lot. Uh, a few bulkheads. Meh. Just gonna get left behind, isn't it? Let's go have a look at the enemy. Fourteens. Thirteens. Okay. Twelve, thirteen inch guns. Empty casements? No. No, they have guns in. I uh, miss what kind. Probably six inch guns. This one here. Okay. And the battle cruiser. Fourteen inch guns, nine of them. Alright. Oh, 3%, it's not too bad at this sort of range. It's a what, mid deck? I think. Promising. Mid deck, a bit bounced off from the 14s. Hello there, I got. Yeah, eight 15 inch guns, very much the standard at the time. Uh, with Bismarck. Um, and of course, Richelieu style ships. Or the Richelieu class. Uh, the Torios had 15s as well, I seem to remember, but didn't they have an extra, an extra gun? A little bit of damage with that hit. It's a hit four deck. Bum, bum, bum. We do have an accuracy penalty for using uh, quad guns. Ooh, yeah, 30%, which is pretty bad, but. Uh, Fine, we'll just uh, get nice and close, nice and quick. And uh, hope they don't have to be close. <laughs> Took out the casement. Oh, I know, uh, the, the AI does tend to go for a lot of guns. Flooding it. Alright, here we go. The Lothringen. A few bulkheads. Uh, obviously, Cordite 3, same as us. Um, what else? Much, 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 much slower. Armour's not as good. No torpedoes. Just trying to look for anything else usual or interesting. Oh, super heavy shells. An increased. Okay. Not the most uh, stable uh, thing to choose when you're having to use cordite. Accuracy is uh, what I like to see. 100%. Set of hits. Yeah, World War Two versus World War One, kind of. Definitely a, a more dreadnoughty style design that one. We, uh, we haven't actually done as much damage as I would have hoped getting for getting this close. I mean, we are punching through their armour, but... Uh, like 
shockwaves, they are able to uh, do damage to me. What I might do is leave the Lothringen after another Sabbath and go after the Bath Cruiser. Can always come back to her. Maybe uh, try and get a torpedo off with the uh, heavy cruiser or something. Cause a bit more flooding. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it flood out. We'll leave her be for now. but uh, struggling a bit. Have a look at Hesson quickly. Also few Vulkids. Mm, slower than us. Terrible armour. And Picric Acid. Oh dear. That's an even worse choice. Electrical turrets. Don't see that very often. Alright, well done. Set of hits, lots of damage, lots of flooding. Torps on the battle cruiser, really? Oh, it does have them. Uh, four and a half, unfortunately, for them. But uh, yeah, I'll have to consider that. Yeah, they're there, they're sunk. Uh, wrap it around because this thing turns pretty well. country to mess around with. Um, I think, uh, I mean, I like most of the countries that you can play in. They've all got something to them. Uh, I think French ships often look really nice. Um, the, uh, I obviously like playing British ships. Quite like Russian ones. <coughs> so yeah, um, Italian ones with the new update, really nice. I think um, I think the American ships could use some love, but uh, they're still fun to play. But uh, yeah, that that was over quite rapidly. <laughs> nice ship. Uh, enjoyed that one. Uh, not a particularly super crew or anything. Um, but yeah, worked pretty well. Anyway, if you're watching this one on YouTube, thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Mods. Bye for now.